Martinez is always out for blood on Japanese day. It's like a feast. How y'all doing? One. I love it. For Japanese, it's one of the best six-hour tattoos that we've seen. It's really bold and solid. The outline on this thing is perfect. I think it's tough, man. I would normally approach this with a heavy background and pulling the contrast out, but the judges want just a hard outline around everything to where it looks like a sticker. I actually really like that you're putting a line on the outside of it. I think it's going to pop everything forward. Yeah, the total opposite of what I've trained myself to do. But for a one-shot piece like this, dude, like, yeah. it's going to look out. Yeah, I, 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 I agree 100%. I realized I should just do exactly what they're asking for, and I can still do me inside the outline. And now that I know what I need to do, this is full speed right here. Ain't no horn on this ride. You getting ran the over. TJ. And I really like the way you put this design together. You have a lot of items that are forced together here in an appealing way, which gives the definition of composition. A lot of detail. I feel like everything in this tattoo is legible. You have a very constructed border with your cherry blossom branch that actually is a definitive end to a tattoo, and it is a design. I told you, no more backgrounds, joint outlines. It's a really creative job. For me, it's a clear win. Who's the clear win? TJ. The creativity on the spot and having a focus and idea in mind works, and that, for me, takes it. Yeah, man, that looks freaking awesome. This tattoo's turning out exactly how I planned. I'm so ecstatic, I'd wear this myself in a heartbeat. I am here to prove to the world and everybody in this competition that I'm an amazing Japanese-style tattoo artist, and I'd better take this one home. Looks good, dude. The only one I see right now is right, right there, and then right where? this right where that almost meets the face. Really, is Josh going to come over and try to give me advice on Japanese challenge day? I think not. I've got this covered, buddy. Thanks, but no thanks. Your composition on this tattoo, very simple. It's got that classic look, that plain face. Just lends itself to a thing of beauty as it is. The pattern work plays very well. One of the nicest patterns of the day. It's definitely my favorite tattoo I've ever seen you do. Hands down, for me, Jason took this one. I've never actually done a real Japanese piece. This stuff's kind of fun. You think? Yeah, it's liberating. This particular challenge, I've decided to put my personality aside to create this piece so I can show the judges that I respect what they do. How different is that drawing than what he draws? It's like, nah. If I start putting googly eyes on this horse and buck teeth on the samurai chick, I know for a fact that Chris would flip his I try to put some traditional feel on that for you. Even though Jesse's a new school kid, he's hung around this long because his technique and his application are top notch. Hang in there. Jesse. Are you comfortable in the Japanese style? Not at all. This is my first one. This is definitely the most non-Jesse tattoo you've done. There's definitely a lot of elements that you hit really nicely. Jewel kind of look in the top of the armor, the little details inside the drapery, and the clothes, the fabric really sets it apart and gives it that life. This is a really strict image, and you held to it really well. Your balance was there. This was very refreshing for me to see today. It's the closest tattoo to traditional Japanese that I've seen all night. Pulled it off and accomplished the look that we're looking for. Well done. Thank you.